Hello and welcome back to a new vault opening video. Uh, this week we've been playing a lot of keys. Uh, still a bit gearing left to do on the the ones that I might end up pushing with, I guess you can say. But we've been catching up nicely, I guess you can say. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm close to capping. Should I loot as blood there? I think I do. I think I do. We only did one key on this guy. It's uh, an upgrade. Well, I think I did one more tune than last week. We included the DK this time. Because a mate of mine needed a low vault key. Just to get the heroic track. Uh, but mainly the mains though, I think. Org has actually seen some challenges in terms of if it's going to be in the comp that is going to push the highest key. So it might not be Org mandatory for high keys. Which I don't mind. Uh, but it's okay to play, I guess. But I, I'm not sure actually. Still not sure. Uh, it's going to be like a <laughs> anticipation for next week because of the big, uh, big patch coming in. And I'm not sure if that's going to like really turn around on the meta. But most likely. Uh, it will turn around a bit. Oh, that is huge. This guy. So some of these tunes, as I said earlier, I'm just keeping uh, afloat, I guess you can say, alive. Also because I, I kind of enjoy playing tons of different classes at the moment. Uh, Which also makes it kind of hard to master one class. I kind of felt it when uh, I was pushing on the org for like several days and then I started playing shaman and then I was tanking a bit and then back to org again. Org is kind of simple but extremely easy to fuck up. And I guess you could say that for everything but uh, if you want to have your maximum uh, Ebon Might uptime. Uh, you kind of have to play Org. Uh, I, I guess you don't say perfectly, but uh, yeah, because uh, upheaval after a while it unsyncs a lot with your Ebon Might uh, breath combo. So, and you really want it for your uh, extendo. Mm, I'm looting as Resto. Should I loot? I think I should loot as Resto. Is Resto seeing some changes though? Oh, we got the hero track at least. And I'm pretty sure I do have catalyst charges. This guy is still down in the... Ah, not in the gutter really. But uh, look at this though. I think season 2, this trinket is going to be insane. Because I was looking at it and seeing the Bruce Stein, even though it's so low, it's kind of insane in terms of tanking. But for higher keys, of course, the item level plays a big part, so. But I'm curious to sh see what the shift is, though. Uh, we also have MDI coming up, which also kind of always... Uh, Influ influence the, the, the favorite in terms of uh, what people play in pugs. 
But I also have, have played some pre-mades this week though, which is kind of nice. Even though I really enjoy pugging. I know many people kind of like... Uh, it's such a bad experience, but... It's kind of like the opposite to me. When you find really good players to play with in pugs, it's extremely fun. So I, th I think about it the other way around, I guess. In terms of... Yeah, that's a hero track compared to a champion track, so it's an upgrade. This is slowly but steadily gearing a bit bigger than my uh, grid though. I can go and check if I can... Uh, at least immediately, then we're going to do it. I don't think I take, I'm, I'm taking this to raid anytime soon, so... Or am I? No, I'm not. I'm not swapping out the... Nah, we need the head. Even though the head has kind of... Ah, not really. Not the best stats. And yeah, the, the big thing though is actually the Paladin changes, because that could make this really... viable. Because a Prot Paladin has so much utility and so much help to the group that you can uh, actually have a... a healer like a disc. Uh, am I looting as Protter though? I think I am. I did a... I don't think I did the 10. I think I healed the 10. Oh, it didn't matter though. Oh, we got the socket on the head. Wow, that is so massive. <laughs> wow. Okay. The, the bigger thing here would be get socket and tarnishment though. Uh, like... I think for a paladin, which is a plate user, which can be prot or holy, uh, I guess a leech would be maybe the better. Avoidance is always good, but I'm pretty sure there's other tunes that's going to die before a paladin, but uh, I might be wrong. But this is a mega piece though. I will get a mythic track, which is insane, but we also get the socket, which is. The cherry on top. Okay, the paladin is looking massive. Uh, I haven't crafted anything on it yet, so if I were to play the paladin a lot, I have a lot of crests to farm and such, and I think 625 is easily obtainable. I said it last week for my org, didn't I? And I think we are close to it on the org. Uh, but I did end up saving a bit in terms of upgrading for crests because. The vault is closing in. You don't want to. You don't want to waste your gilded crest on uh, pieces that might get looted from the vault. The shaman we did uh, a lot of keys on. We also crafted the weapon. I think we need rings. We need hands. We need a trinket. I think I need to recraft the bracers. Being the jewelry, we need to also. Oh, it could be tarnishment, sir. Come on. Uh, uh. Yeah, this trinket. <clears throat> I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think it's dog shit. But the niche thing about giving verse is kind of good. But what makes it extremely dog shit is it's ten seconds. Transmitter is huge if I'm ever going to consider going for uh, another spec. And I think <laughs> I've heard rumors about every other spec. Uh, every 
every spec in Shaman is actually going to be insane, or is looking to be insane for the patch, so... I think it's headpiece, right? Surely it's headpiece. I have rabbit and uh, no changeling. Don't want transmitter. Do I? Do I want transmitter? Does even transmitter show on uh, questionable? It's such a low time, right? It's insane intel for 15 seconds. But I think it's too awkward to kinda like make work of it. Actually the, this one is even better. Ah, it's ass. Okay, let's take the mid track. You never go wrong with taking a mid track, I guess. Never go wrong with taking a mid track. Reload. It looks like they have some people eager to play already. Maybe. But let's wrap this up. The DH, I only have bomb key. Uh, I'm not sure if it's. If it's going to be all that, but I know that there's some a few high pushers. They push at Felskar, as Felskar now, which I think is extremely similar, to sh or what I heard at least, to Shadowlands. Uh, like you, you tank in your cooldowns and you fuck off. And, oh, there we go, finally. And that's the four piece on this guy. It was one of the biggest upgrades. We're getting some juicy upgrades today. On all of our tunes. Dude, I don't have any more. Uh, uh, this guy is still a bit of a rat though, but uh, it's four piece now, at least. Oh, that's some juicy stats as well. Not sure if Monster is the best one, but Haste at least. I st still, still a bit of a rat, but we are getting there and we have 4 piece now. All from... Uh, I'm assuming. What is that? <laughs> making making us play even more around Fell then. Okay. I like kind of trash that... Uh, Okay, we did tank sub tens, and we elevated this warrior a bit. I think it's like 613 or something. But he's still a bit of a rat when it comes to pushing keys at least. Uh, but he's in the same boat as, uh, or he's, he's lower gear than the paladin, but I can farm a lot of crest and... Uh, yeah, I think I have two, yeah, two splinters. But he lacks, yeah, trinkets, neck. There's a lot of things that this guy lack. And maybe, I think that the tank trinket is kind of like the best you can hope for, I guess. This one is easy because it's the only mythic track. Okay. Solid tire. I take those. Remember to re enchant. Then the last the guy in today's vault. We have uh, all over. We actually have had some upgrades. Uh, this guy is kind of hard to hit upgrade on, I guess. But there's a lot of... Or, nah, it shouldn't be that hard. I still need a lot of mythic tracks. And I 
could, but I didn't do full raid. Like, do tugging raids now is <laughs> it is sus, man. Yeah, six twenty four soon on this guy, uh, but I have a lot of crest I could farm. I think, yeah. And I never got the boots. I tried to farm for them. Uh, could consider. Nah, we didn't get it. Spy masters. We could consider. We got the mythic track weapon now, dude. I waited so many weeks for mythic track weapon, man. This is also best stats. It's such a good weapon. Oh my god! But we got the boots. I didn't see those because I saw the weapon. But we got the boot upgrade. Wow, that is big. That is a lot of haste, though. Yeah, I think we're fine. We we want we want a lot of haste. When we play scale commander. Okay, 25 BR, and then we can start upgrading a bit more of the pieces. I did end up upgrading uh, my craft though. Uh, but I guess I'm tossing all the upgrades in the mythic track pieces I have first. Uh, most likely into trinkets afterwards, and then the big pieces are getting the upgrades. Maybe consider doing some uh, BOE farm on this guy. Just because you need the helmet to toss some upgrades into, I guess. Anyways, I'm yapping. Uh, but yeah, the meta and the mythic plus is. It is kind of like on the top. It's really set though. It's a lot of um, extreme amount of uh, warrior as tank. Aug is there, uh, and it's frost DH right to get it with the rogue. I guess I think frost DH and rogue is extremely potent at the moment as a duo with resto shaman. Then you have the some other, but you can also like look at the other ones not playing org. It's oftentimes extremely good players, right? That have insane gear from their like race to world first tunes or whatever. But uh, I think it was was it Boomy instead of the org. So you have Frost DH, Rogue, Boomy. Get a bit resto. I think Resto Shaman and Warrior might be the strongest right now that might change to prop pala but we have yet to see mage is still extremely popular i guess you can say but i think it's have taken a bit of a dip and also big streamers saying that mage is not the best uh, or they are gearing other tunes might influence it right I think uh, Frost, DK, <coughs> and um, and Rogue is uh, your best source of DPS right now for people playing pugs. There's uh, of course a lot of others that are viable, but. Uh, yeah. Also the. The season has seen, I, I think a lot of players, and I, I, I also can preach for this, that um, it's, uh, what is that? What? Or was it, did I get it from the, oh, okay, it was the resupply from Vascan. But yeah, I, I like the pugging scene is about, it's not really dead, it's still there in EU, there's a lot of people playing at least, but uh, there's a lot more voice comes going down now, people getting on Discord, and to that point, I like, I understand people calling it pugging, but uh, pugging is without comms, man, and with people you actually don't know uh, at all, so... Uh, that's my way of viewing pegging at least, and uh, 
I think what you see and will see in the future is people playing a lot more with a stable group. And it's a lot more about bringing the player instead of the tune. So I think you can make a lot of things viable this season. Anyways, as I said, I'm yapping. Good luck in your vault if you haven't opened it yet. And catch you. Adios.